Hey Bruin Club, Oso Bruin here to teach you a new game. This one's called Nefetoffel, or The King's Table. This is a two-player strategy game, also known as the Viking's Chess. Algunos lo conocen como el ajedrez de los vikingos, y se traduce literalmente a la mesa del rey. Nefetoffel has two players. The game is played on a variety of boards, 7x7, 9x9, 11 by 11, 13 by 13, or 19 by 19. The board on screen is an 11 by 11 board with 24 attacking pieces, 12 defenders, and one king. The defender, Los Defensores, controls the king, placed at the center throne square to start, and is surrounded by their pieces. The attacker, or Los Atacantes, have their pieces outlined the edge of the board with one additional piece on top of it. The attackers usually outnumber the defender's pieces two to one, giving the attacker player the advantage. Players take turn moving their pieces orthogonally, like the rook in chess, up and down, side to side. There is no diagonal play. The king can only move one square at a time, much like the king in chess, though again, not moving diagonally. In order to win the game, the king must reach the corners, or in simplified versions of the game, reach the edge. For the attackers to win, they must surround the king at all four corners. A warrior piece is taken when two enemy pieces move to opposite sides and is removed from the board. All pieces besides the king are captured when sandwiched between two enemy pieces or the throne or corner squares. However, a warrior may sneak into a square between two opposing pieces. That warrior may continue to rest between the two others unless one of them moves away and back again, taking two turns, at which point it is removed from play as normal. It is possible to take more than one piece with a single move. Some variations even prevent the king from participating in capturing enemy pieces. The thrown in corners count as opposing pieces. Los guerreros pueden mover ortogonalmente o izquierda a derecha, arriba a abajo, pero no pueden mover diagonalmente. Para sacar a una pieza del enemigo, dos guerreros necesitan emparadar al enemigo. Para ganar, captura al rey con cuatro guerreros ro rodeados por cada esquina o lleva al rey a una de las esquinas. El trono y las esquinas cuentan como piezas opuestas, o piezas del enemigo. Aquí tenemos un ejemplo de cómo se puede ganar con los defensores y otro donde ganan los atacantes. Y aquí termina el desafío.